Hey, what's up guys? In between episodes, I have made a bunch more drives. I think I made four last time and I made four more. Um, why is this not working all of a sudden? Oh, that's a good timing. Right as I start, I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm sure I'm probably out of fuel is most likely what's happening here. Yeah, I'm out of kerosene. Well, let's go take a look at that. But yeah, anyway, I uh, also made a bunch of machines in order to start doing some of my uh, setup for the crystallization crucibles. So that's what I want to work on next. Uh, I see what's going on here. I appear to be very low on... Wait, hold on. That's propane. That should be all good there, actually. What's going on here? Hmm... I think this is running on propane. I think I also allowed butane to come through, but maybe it's not going in. Because I think what's happening is uh, the propane is just barely not enough. Um, it's not like getting enough propane to like continuously run this currently. So what I did is I added this uh, non uple rubber fluid pipe in order to let butane go down as well. But I think it's probably not going in there fast enough or it's not switching quickly enough. And then this is sort of not filling up in response to that, which is kind of annoying. I definitely need to uh, start switching over my fuels a little bit, but at the very least, this should now be getting powered. That's good. So yeah, I made a bunch of machines here. What I want to do is use these to set up a system in order to kind of automatically create uh, bools, mostly the silicon ones. So what I want to do is take the basalt dust that I'm getting out of this system here, because it's just kind of sitting here. I have tons of it. What I can do is I can process that in a centrifuge. And uh, I can get some flint dust, dark ashes, uh, calcite, and olivine. And then I can use that olivine in an electrolyzer. And I can get silicon dioxide which for the pools. And I can get iron and also some magnesium, which is really nice. So it's a good source of iron, good source of silicon dioxide for the silicon for the pools. And uh, also, what else can you make out of it? I think, yeah, you just get the flint dust. That's the other thing. That's also silicon dioxide. The only thing is now I'm kind of worried about my power. <laughs> Seeing that, I might want to really quickly make another gas burning box so I can run the uh, distillation tower on butane as well. So let me see. Gas. Do I have one? I have a dense invar one. I can run that on butane at least and add a little more heat to the tower. But I think I need fluid filters. Uh, let's see if I have enough. I do. I'm so happy I made this AE system. It's absolutely god tier. Alright, um, yeah, I need these, I need this, and then I'll just throw that one next to the tungsten one for now. I think that should add just enough to keep this going. Um, that's fluid. I could put another gas one here. I just need to put a fluid filter. Let me set these up real quick. So that's going to be one, that's going to be the other. So you're going to be butane, and you are going to be propane. And then I should be able to set these up. So what are you already currently running? I think this is propane, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, that's propane. So let's uh, take a block, turn this off. And wrench it. Alright, so propane. That's not you. That's you. Propane. Butane. And bam. And I like it when it's facing out like that. Bam. So you go. You go. Oh, did I not wrench this pipe? I probably didn't wrench the pipe. That's what it is. There we go. Okay, so now this should be running even faster. Yeah. So, that'll increase my fuel throughput there. The only thing is I'm a little worried about my fuel consumption or my oil consumption. I don't know how much that oil spring is going to keep up with this demand. It's definitely not going to keep up for much longer, especially if I have a lot of, like, automated processes. But... Those actually seem to be doing pretty good, all things considered. I want to go look at the actual um, the oil well, just to see. Let's get rid of this dirt. Oh, 
way better way of doing this, but I'm just going to dig straight down. Uh, Felina, I, I'll just use regular fortune on that. I don't give a shit. Uh, where's my drill? My jackhammer. Okay. Come on. Oh my god, there's so many like random materials here. Okay. Oh, it's, it's actually doing pretty good. I can I can definitely afford to increase this quite a bit. I can definitely turn all of those into dense dense tungst bleh, dense tungsten burning boxes, and I would be just fine, I think. This doesn't look like it's doing anything. And also I can turn all of these into rubber fluid pipes, or probably realistically I want to turn them into either bronze or steel, most likely bronze. But yeah, this is not even like being dented here. That's actually kind of crazy. Okay. Oh wait, whoops. <laughs> I was playing on a on a server where that actually worked. I'm not used to uh playing single player again. Do a little slash home action. Let's put this here. And also get rid of the jackhammer. I have to clean up my inventory because it is full of crap. Yeah, my fuel should be a little more sustainable, at least for the moment. Let's just put this fence away. And I still need to use... Actually, I can't even use that system. I need to make storage buses for these uh, things here. For now, I just have to come in manually kind of throw them away. Or I can put, like, Greg pipes on these just to uh, handle it for the time being. But that's not what I want to do now. I just want to get this shit out of my inventory and uh, work on what I actually wanted to do. Uh, I don't know. Throw this dust away. And I'll put these Galena gems in some random chest. Probably just here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to set up those systems to refine all of that basalt dust. So what I need to do is I need to hook up this basalt dust to a pipe and bring the dust down. And I'll do it underneath the factory here. So I'll, I'll keep that space for other stuff just in case. I'll start the system here and I'll have this be sort of like an automatic refinery system. Have some bread. Where is that pipe? Or where's that barrel, rather? That's that one there. Okay. I'll need to bring it down and around like this. A little tight here. I might need to reorganize these uh, fluid pipes, but for now, this is all right. Let's bring that here. I need it to come right here. So the first thing we need is a centrifuge. Uh, that needs to be the steel one. Unfortunately, I already had one from... I think last time, actually, when I was trying to do this. Or I don't know what I made this one for, actually, but something like that. So the items come out from the right. Should just be items, yeah. So I need um, tungsten steel engine, which I've already pre-made. So we're going to do it like this and like this. Actually, I want to do something a little special. It, oh, whoops, I'm done. i do this. So that has an automatic machine switch, and this needs its venting port open. What I want to do with this system, oh, whoops, is, um, well, I don't actually have to. I was thinking I could collect the carbon dioxide from this and uh, use the, actually, I don't know if I made an LV electrolyzer, but I wanted to use an LV electrolyzer to uh, retrieve carbon from that, um, because this is going to produce a lot of carbon dioxide anyway, and I need carbon for the silicon. But I'm realizing the cryo distillation tower that's directly below this will just produce tons of that, so probably not super necessary. <laughs> um, let me just see carbon. Oh, actually, I have the electrolyzer here. Oh, it's just galvanized steel. Not a big deal. All right, steel. I need six, and then two, and what else do I need for that? I need tin cable and platinum. Platinum for the wires, I think, right? Yeah. 
for you. Go away. Where is the wire mold? There it is. Get that. And flat them. And then for these, I need to bathe them in zinc. Cool. That's all good. Six of these, then this, and a wrench. And we got the galvanized steel. Put you here. And cable and platinum. Gone. All right. So platinum wire can go here, and is it just a wrench? Yeah. Okay, so we have the electrolyzer. That can be used to reclaim carbon. It doesn't need to run all the time. I'm just going to have it probably run on a specific level, but we'll see. Um, can I do this? I think I need this to be converted into regular basalt dust, so I might need to turn this into a mass storage, potentially. Or I might just have to turn the barrel itself. I don't need this to be compacted. Although, eh, I'll just use a mass storage on top of the um, centrifuge because it's fine. Let me just grab all these or however many I can carry. And I want this to be salt dust. Need one of these. Not that. That. And I want this to fill inventories below. Oh, wait, what? Okay, never mind. Thought I did something to those item pipes, but I did not. Okay. You go here. That should retrieve the items from above it. And this can go here. And we'll wrench that down. That'll start filling up. The centrifuge will run when it gets fuel, which is good. I can turn this off now. It probably has more than enough power for the time being. That I'm going to probably try to run on solar. A lot of this I'm going to try to run on solar as well because this is going to run a long time. It's just going to run continuously. So I think once I get to the um, the good solar panels, the germanium ones, I'll run most of this on solar if I can. Okay, so yeah, that is going to run salt dust. So I want... I guess I can just run it out directly like this. But what I need specifically is for the olivine to be retrievable by the MV electrolyzer, which will take in items from the top automatically. Interesting. Let's see how I want to do this. Because the other things are kind of not as good. The flint dust is okay. Calcite is okay. I don't I don't even need like the calcite readily accessible for the most part. It just needs to be around. I can do one, two. These could be like the not as useful things. I could put one here for the electrolyzer. This is gonna need a lot of space. I'm gonna need a bunch of covers for the electrolyzer. For both of them actually. Um <clears throat> So yeah, I can put the electrolyzer on top. And what is this going to electrolyze into? So olivine gets electrolyzed into... Uh, okay. Yeah, just items. So where do the items come out on this? Oh, wait, the right. Yeah. Right? Okay. That's good there. I just need to make sure the right things go to the right storage unit. So I'll disconnect that for now. And then the flint dust, I cannot... Either put it there or I can put it on the back. But now I'll just put it here. So that's good. Then this will electrolyze the olivine into iron. And what else does it electrolyze it into? Look on dioxide, iron, and magnesium. Okay. This will have three mass storages of its own. So I kind of want to do it like. in a way because i want the silicon dioxide to go well i can yeah i can just do it like this for now i can connect the iron and the magnesium to this one and then i'll have this pipe run up there to do the um silicon i need to kind of make a duplicated version of the auto crucible setup up here in order to make those silicon plates so yeah this is the basics of it 
I just need more, um, I need control covers now. <laughs> and yeah, you're off, you're good though. Uh, cover, so I need a conductor and an emitter, which is good. I need a redstone machine switch. Which is just for the engine, and I need a activity and spell. Good. This is such a lifesaver, I'm so happy. <laughs> Cannot express how good it is to have an Emmy system. I love logistics pipes. I think it's more interesting than applied energistics, but at the same time, it's uh, very laggy, and I, my performance is already starting to drop. So I like having the um, the interdimensional, like um, what do you call them? The the three D storage cells. These ones, the spatial cells. That's what they're called. I like having those because I can start compacting setups and putting them in there, and then sending the outputs through quantum tunnels. I think that's probably what I'll end up doing for some of these things, but it's a bit of a ways away. So this one actually is dino good enough. Wait, hold on. Uh, carbon dioxide. I forgot I need to input stuff into this, but uh, I'll deal with that in a second. So electrolyzer. So this is 42 GU per tick and can go up to 64 EU. Actually, I should have made another one of these before. Eh, that's fine. I'll just run this on on Invar Diesel Engine. Or wait, yeah. I need to put uh, covers on this. So I need to accept on top, emit on the bottom. Put you here. Point you up. And Invar, the diesel engine needs redstone machine switch. Go up like that. And actually, I think this is the wrong one. I'm realizing this is for carbon dioxide. <laughs> but I do need this same exact setup for the MV1. The detector, I need the redstone machine switch. And I also need uh, covers. I need red alloy cable. I need one depth and one emit. It's all good. Okay. So this goes here. We need the beefy one. This one is for the olivine. This is a 72 or 70 EU per tick recipe, but I'm going to be overclocking it within the same voltage tier, so it's not going to consume any, like, unnecessary power. It's just going to take the more power and speed it up, because it's all going to be in MV. So it's going to take 256 rotation units. It's going to put output 176 EU, which is still in MV. It'll just substantially increase the speed. And again, I've got to put these covers on. Except, emit, you go up. Engine, where is my tons of steel? Engine, that's the machine switch. Go here, you go up, and we're good. Um, I think I can just put carbon dioxide here. I just need to figure out which line is my carbon dioxide line. Actually, I don't need it for that one, I need it for a different one. Oh, I'll figure that one after. I'll just bring over fuel for now. So, this is kerosene, right? Yeah. We are filling up with kerosene, which is good. That's exactly what I want. So this, I'll just run it here, probably. Yeah. So this is going to go here. You're already connected. We're good. And I just want to bring that up. And like that. You should run, but I do need a way to like control this and limit how much this is able to run. I will probably put a redstone machine switch on this rather than an automatic machine switch because otherwise, this is just gonna absolutely destroy my stock of uh kerosene. Let me actually do that now. I want to just control this with a lever for the moment. 
fire this man ever. I should just put it here. Yeah, now this has two control switches on it. It has the automatic machine switch and the redstone machine switch. But the redstone machine switch, it's sort of like an AND gate now, like where both of them need to be allowed to run for this machine to actually work. So that's good. And I'm sure I just wasted a bunch of fuel by turning that on and off. But uh, actually, I think that drained quite a bit of kerosene very rapidly, actually. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, let me um real quick make my tungsten gas burning box. Let me just make sure all these are dense. Dense burning box. This is Invar. I don't really need to look at that. Ugh, my web of lies here is trapping me. Uh, that's a regular liquid one, so I can turn all of these into gas or into um not gas dense tungsten burning boxes. Me sleep. That's gonna take a bit of tungsten, but it's worth it. Um, dense, uh, actually, burning box. Ooh, how do I filter this down to just tungsten? Whatever. Um, dense burning box, liquid tungsten. How much is this? So it's 22. How much is it for the gas? Mean. 32 plus 22, 54, it's quite a bit of tungsten, and I am out of power again, turn on, there you go, tungsten, it's just a regular one, uh, make a bunch more, I do know I need the plates, Let's see, what else do I need? Gas, tungsten, not that one. one. Just tungsten plates, a large tungsten pipe. I need two of these. How much are these? 12, so I need two large tungsten pipes. Large, and I need 12 tungsten for that. I have quite a bit now, because I've been running uh, a bunch of tungsten products through. Go. That'll take a minute. And actually, let me just double check. I'm sure this is actually empty now. I'm completely out of hydrochloric acid, it seems. Oh no. Wait, what? You have hydrochloric acid. I'm sure this system is just empty. Yeah, this is completely empty. But why? You have salt. Oh, sodium bisulfate is full. That's why. Uh, let me put a mass storage here. Cool. I don't, I don't think there's anything good to do with this except make it into forestry fertilizer or something. <laughs> but that's okay. Good thing I caught that. Otherwise I would have just sat around not knowing what's going on. Also, I think there's a bunch of tungsten. Oh no, this is, uh, this is all titanium. It's just shreddable, right? Yeah. You can go in there. You should be full, so I can turn you off. This should have produced, or it should be nearly... Oh, actually, yeah, perfect. Okay. Olivine goes here. Um, I want flint. Maybe to go here. Uh, dark ashes, don't care. Calcite can go here. And now I can connect this. But this needs more than just one. This needs seven, I think. Or no, it needs five. I need selector tag in there. That's good. I just need to wait for that to come out with more. Okay. We're getting there. I do need to buff this system quite a bit. So that's 12... Uh, 40 plates or something like that. So I need 20 more. Fuck. There we go. Okay. Is there a way for me to just turn this directly into plates without having to... I guess I can just smelt it, but... 
Oh boy. I sure do love doing this. Anyway. I should buff. I'm definitely going to need to buff that. Actually, screw it. I'll do another one. Um, another liquid tungsten burning box. A dense one. That one takes a lot, though. Holy shit. Needs more than that. Wait, did I miscount? Actually, yeah, no, I, I do need more than just what I was expecting. I need 24 pipes. Or 24 uh, units worth of pipes. I haven't even finished one. Oh my god. <laughs> what is the extruded cost? Uh, the next tier up. That is tungsten carbide. I can make that. Mana diamond. Yeah, I'm just tungsten carbide. Or actually, that's not mana diamond. It's just diamond dust. That's fine. Okay, just to make sure I have exactly as much as I need. I need, uh, let's see. I want two dense gas burning boxes. So that is 20 tungsten right there. So that's just for the gas right there. The liquid. I want two dense liquid burning boxes. So I need 20 for that as well. So I did miscount. So that's going to be all for plates. And then I also need copper for all of these, I think. Copper plates. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I need 36 copper. 32. And let me put this back. I'll just make these copper plates <laughs> in the crucible here because otherwise it's going to take forever. getting there it takes a minute to uh to get there but we are gonna get there just want to make sure that's actually heating up just want to top off all my tools while i'm waiting for this extremely long process to finish off come on I really want to set up my crystallization crucibles too. We got a whopping one tungsten pipe, if you can believe that. Oh boy, this is uh, this is taking quite a bit of time. What is this? This is just a regular liquid one, right? Yeah. This one I don't want to speed up too much because otherwise. I will evaporate anything I put into it. There we go. There's my copper. Just want to turn all these into plates so I can compress them into dense plates. Okay, I'm probably straining my kerosene so much right now, but it's okay. Not a big deal. I also want to increase my ethanol production. I have lots of different sources of uh, energy, just in case. Especially once I start putting more and more stuff into my ME system, it's going to be good to have a uh, backup. need a couple more to come out of here and then I can just get all of them out in one go should be the last one all right come on wait what how much did I put in there I put oh I put 36 that's right not six I didn't put 32 I put 36 so it should be really there Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay. Now I can put these all in the compressor or whatever it is. The, yeah, the compressor. 
and they will all go at the same time. Very nice. How are you doing with your pipes? You are still working on the second pipe. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Well, for now I can do uh, the quadruple or quintuple pipes. So I do need one, two, three, four, five. Wait, is this only... Oh no, I need... Wait, how many do I need? That's burning box of the tanks and quintuple. Need eight of these, right? Do I miscount this again? Oh boy. Yeah, I do need more than that. Jesus Christ. Well, I'll just do one for now. I'll do uh, two plates worth. And I'll turn them into quintuple plates. <clears throat> Alright, there's my quintuple plates. And I have my copper plates. And I have at least one pipe, if not two. I do have two pipes. I want to switch out the Invar gas one, just because that one is probably... Not doing a whole lot of uh, good for my system. And of course, I forgot all my bricks are here. Just get a big old stack of them. And there's a dense gas burning box. And I should put this hammer away. Actually, no, I'm still using it. Good to me. Alright, let's go replace this burning box. This one here. So I want you to turn off, I want you to come here, and I would like to ignite you with a lighter. That should substantially speed up, yeah. And then I'll replace that one as well. Actually, that one's already a gas burning box. I don't need as much as I thought I did. Whatever. I just need that liquid one then, and the one for the extruder. That's sort of a side project, though. So for the liquid burning box, I do need two pipes, which is good that I already prepared them. Let me get two more dense plates. Or, uh, not dense, a couple. Cool. So here are my couple plates. There's the copper bricks, and then like that. Alright. We put this crap in here. How much are you using? Oh, you're almost empty. But I think probably kerosene is not much of an issue now. Yeah, I'm slowly going up. You are producing quite a bit. Actually, I'm almost there. I just needed to run two more times. I think I could even speed this up Further. Let me see. What is this limited to? 256. Oh, actually, no, this is maxed out. This, I think, yeah, is nearly at the limit. So that's about as fast as I can run it, unless I put two of them, which I may end up doing. I think, is there an electric centrifuge? Not. This one just takes rotation units. Maybe I'll do a large one eventually once I have the big circuits and I'll run it on electricity because there is a electric motor that I could run this on the HP one runs on stainless steel really hmm. oh actually no wait yeah I would need this one never mind so I would need 512e which is quite a bit even from those good solar panels but I'm sure I could manage how are we doing over here? There's another one. And there is that. Okay. I want to replace this, and then I don't have to worry about the uh, fuel for a while. Hopefully. Ugh. Get out of the way. Okay, so you... I should put a brick in front of it. And dense burning box. Where is my lighter? There it is. This, I think, is also running on kerosene, but it should more than balance out. Let's see how quickly this is running. Yeah, that's uh, quite fast. 
I don't think there's a limit on this either. I think you could just kind of keep putting heat into it. 64 GU per tick. I don't think there's like a, an actual overclock though, like penalty. Right? Yeah, it can be overclocked without additional energy loss. Oh wait, up to t okay. Hold on, I might I might have already maxed this out by quite a bit. I don't even think I need to run this on kerosene. Actually, I could just run it on the the gas fuels. I think that's the max speed, and I probably don't even need the uh, heater on the bottom, but I will just keep using it. Thermal electric cooler. Yeah, that is max speed. I should have looked at that before. So five hundred twelve up to ten thousand twenty four, but that's one burning box. Yeah, this one wasn't doing anything actually. Or that's that one. Yeah. That one wasn't doing anything either. Well, whatever. I have extra burning boxes now. It's never a bad thing. They always get put to use. So yeah, what I want to do now is move the crystallization crucibles up. Um and what I actually need to do is probably um set up the crucible setup that I have there. And run it up a little bit. I'm just thinking about how I need to bring up the items. Let me get the crucible. Actually, look, let me double check because I'll just copy this pretty much exactly. This is a liquid invar burning box. That's silicon. Alright, I'm sure I have a bunch of those. Burning box. Let's see. That's a dense one. A gas one. Yeah, there we go. Um. A ton of stuff on me. Whatever. Um, I also need clay, which I have a bunch of, but I want the yellow clay. That's what I have like tons of in my other world. Doesn't really matter, but seven clay, and then I also need uh, plates, plate molds. I think it's just the one though. Okay. Actually, should I make more than that? I don't think I'll make... I'll use too much, but... Let's see. Rolling pin, knife, or... Yeah, there we go. And... Do it like this. It's a bowl. Oh, it's the other way around, isn't it? This way. We mold. There we go. And then... For a plate, it is like this. You go in, you go in. Give me my bread. Okay, there's my crucible. So I want to put it sort of over here, and that way when the bulls come out, they can just go right down here. So what I need, I need two item pipes that sort of come up like this. One for uh, carbon. Actually, it'll have to be the other way. It'll be like this. So one is going to be for carbon, the other is going to be for silicon dioxide. I'm thinking if I put like mass storages up here, like there, but I will need to move them forward one like that, because I'll need to be able to detect how much is in them. So just for the sake of argument, if I do it like this, one like this. I think that's okay. We'll see. Um, and then I need bronze for hoppers. I need 20 bronze at least. And I need a bunch of curved plates over here. I'll just make it in here because that, that thing is still working. Um, so I need, what is it? 16 curve plates. Yeah, sounds about right. I haven't made curve plates like that in a long time, actually. Oh no, is it all right? I might have made too many. Yeah. Well, whatever. I'll put these away. Bronze. Let's get the. 
I have extra barrels. Oh shit, what did I just throw in there? I put something in there that I didn't need to. Hmm. Well, we'll see what it was. Um, barrel. I have an extra barrel. I need more wood. Did I already saw up some wood? Alright. I need two like that. This. Two barrels, or four barrels, and a hammer, and a wrench. That. And we will do it here. I think I can put the hoppers like that. This. And where is it? Why not a dense gas burning box? Oh, that's the one I took off the bottom of the distillation tower. Yeah. Yo, okay. Liquid in bar burning box. Put that down here. That. And then these can all go like this. That. <clears throat> okay. That looks good to me. Oh, and I need another hopper actually for pudding. Let's see. Need two copper plates and three curved or not copper bronze. Are there copper hoppers? I don't actually even know. No. Didn't think so. Alright, so let's cut up another one of these. Do that. Make it into a barrel. That here, wrench, hammer, all the way around. There we go. And I need yeah, this mass storage. Actually, I don't need a mass storage here. I need it somewhere else. I need it to be in a smelter. So this smelter, I'm going to move up. That way, I can have the molten silicon in a better spot. So it doesn't go. I think it does. I need to bring this. I need to set up the redstone on this first. I need the um I need to make some thermometer sensors and I need to make some weightometer sensors. I need a bunch of tin alloy. I already have. So for the thermometer sensors, it is two tin alloy. For the fluid, it is two and some. Oh, not, certain, not for fluid. What am I talking about? Yeah, this one is also two and some. So I need eight. And then I need a bunch of the bolts. I think I probably have the bolts, but I don't know if that's enough. Item a meter. Two each. Thermometer. Well, actually, that's perfect. Okay. So these can go here. <coughs> these can go here. The... Item meter, we need eight uh, red alloy wire. And then for the red or for the thermometer ones, I also need eight in total. We sleep. All right. For the item one, what is it? Where is that? Just chest or barrel. I need gold as well, actually. Or gold. Um, what else do I need? I need to put this liquid toxin burning box away for now. My... Oh my god, that's still right. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Uh, what else do I need? I need more wood, just in general. Do I just have, like, spruce? Not rubber wood. I think I have it in one of these chests here, most likely. I must have spruce. Whatever, I'll just go chop a spruce tree. I need to make a um a debarker, which I think has been renamed to a, a water sprayer or something. I forgot what it's called, a pressure washer. Yeah, I need one of these because this this lets you get more wood off of uh your wood products. Maybe I'll do that now actually. 
a neat little project. I'm sure I have an extra thing just lying around. It's basically just, it strips the bark off. It gives you like a debarked piece of wood and then a debarked piece of wood in a saw will give you more wood than normal. And you get the little bark piece, which I can use to make dynamite. So, worth having. I remember when I used to take ages to cut down one of these trees and now I can kind of fell it all within like a couple seconds. Did I get enough saplings to regrow this? Look like it. Let me go grab one just so I can have a, a new one there. I really need to make a wood farm in general, but I don't want to do it with forestry. I want to do it with open computers. I like using drones for it. All right, that is plenty. Yeah, let me make the debarker real quick. I think it's probably enough. Uh, D or it's no, it's the pressure washer. Got that one there. Stainless steel. I have that. Stainless. I have a ring. I have plates. Let me. Is that one still working? Actually, it's done. I don't need to use this to curve my plates. Should make a roll bender to curve plates like dedicated but i just love using the extruder it's so much more convenient i do think the roll bender works extremely quickly though uh, i need to extrude a bunch of plates mostly gold come on we are getting there Okay, there we go. Fix that, and then I'll put tungsten in, just because I do need like a bunch of tungsten plates anyway. Okay, curve stainless steel plate. I need to weld these together. Like that. And I'll put this curved mold away. I don't need it. My gold will become extruded. Like that. I think I already have a stainless steel. Actually, no. Well, this doesn't go over to Tuxin. I need a pipe. Get, it, get rid of this Tuxin first. Let me just double check. That's exactly what I need. Kind of weird that that needs a stainless steel pipe. But whatever. Okay, now you can go back. Give me... My pipe, please. Cool. Okay. So, actually, I do need small gears. Actually, I have them. Cool. Okay. Washer, washer. Oh, what else do I need? Bronze machine casing. Not a problem. Give me those, though. Oh. God, you can't uh, shift click out of here. All right. Bronze is here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops. One, two. Got a lot of stuff on me. I'm getting sidetracked, but it's for a good cause. This is a very useful machine just to save you, like, effort in the long run. Okay, pressure washer, and then I need an engine. Any will do. I'll just take a bronze one. And I need a source of water. I'll just put it down here for now. It doesn't really have to be anything fancy. But I do want a chest, a bronze chest. Okay, so this is a water pipe. What does the pressure washer need? Fluids in top, items in left. Okay. The pressure washer, take it. And... Oh, yeah, never mind. This is already facing the right way. Okay, this chest can go here for now. And I can put you in, and then you need to get your energy in from the back. And I need to pipe in some fuel. You. Really not enough? Boost logs, hold on. Pressure washer. 
Oh, that's not connected. That's what I was trying to do before. There we go. Is it faster if you use distilled water? Don't know. No, it's all the same. Yeah, you get these beams, which is nice. I'll just put the rest of this wood in the system. A bit of a, a diversion, but it's worth doing, I promise. And then when you get one of these, how much wood do you get out? You get seven. And I think if you do a normal one, you get six. Yeah, so that does increase your output, plus you get the bark, so. Can't complain too much. Worthwhile investment, and it's pretty much just bronze and a little bit of stainless steel. All right, so there's my barrels. I need to do this to make the weight things. And it's like that. And some of these, my two barrels, I think it's this way. There's those. And then I have mercury. I need bottles. Not this. That. I need copper plates. Do I already have them? That's annealed copper. Let me throw these in here. My thermometer. There's my bottles. There they are. So there's my mercury. I need glass pane. And I need um, dye. Or I need... Um... Oh, that's already... It's up here. I didn't put it in the system. Where's my chemical red dye? Do I have any? Chemical red dye. Perfect. Okay. Bottle. I need two. Get these for my thermometers. Put that away. Okay. And then for this, it's six of these. Just gotta wait. Okay. Anyway, for this one, I need the itemometer sensors back here. Place properly. There we go. Okay, so for one of these, it's going to be silicon. The other one, it's going to be for uh, carbon. And also, I need to see if this is actually run. It did. Okay, so silicon dioxide will go somewhere else. Iron can go here. Magnesium can go here. So you need to come, like, this way. I think over here. Yeah. So I will have this one run here. I can, I can actually run both these on the same pipeline, now that I'm thinking about it. That's glass. Of course it is. Let's see. Completely forgot that that's a thing. Um, okay. Yeah, these can both connect, actually. Is good. Saving me some trouble. Alright, so you go here, connect like that. And then I will knock out that glass. You go up. And then here. And this can output in this way. Um, and then I'll bring the pipe. This is a bit weird. I'll bring it here. Yeah, like this. Okay. This should be good, I think. Yeah, the silicon dioxide will output there. <coughs> and then it'll... Go all the way up to the top into here. Perfect. And then that has already done this. I need to fix that, but you know, it's all right for now. <laughs> Let me. Ah, shoot. I need to get the uh, redstone torches. But yeah, from this point on, it's essentially a uh, duplication of that. I'm just going to take the uh, output and put it directly into this kind of thing here. I'm just going to move this up. Um, essentially, do it like here. 
I need to leave a space open to do wiring, but I'll do it like this. And I'll put the output there. That will be a mass storage of silicon plates. Then the smelter will do this. What does this do? Item or fluids out is right, so I need to position it that way. And then I need the dense liquid burning box. And I'll just put it here like that. And I will use a solar panel and this to power it. Although I think, where do I have the outputs for this? How was I trolling this? I don't know. We need a detector. I don't have any control covers on this. Interesting. Um, um no. I was like controlling that. I don't remember what I even had there. We need a detector possible. Oh, I see, I see, okay. That was being used to control the thing next to it, so I can put it like here. Yeah, this has receive covers on it. I see. I don't need to do that here, though. I can... Well, I need to clear my inventory a minute, a little bit, but... I can make this work. These covers don't need to be on. This can go... Here. And then the igniter. And take... Actually, I do need that. Never mind. I need accept and emit. Oh, I see what I was doing. Yeah, okay. I'm dumb. I was I was smarter in the past than I am right now. Okay, so I need an accept here. Let me put this in a better spot. So accept can go here. Emit down there and then I think I also need another one to uh, control the piston and then I also need to knock this one off put it on the back and put this here point it down put the igniter underneath it which is here it's already set up properly Okay. Well, I think that's good. I will uh, continue to set this up. Uh, basically just move this whole system up, move the silicon up. I'll use dense invar burning boxes the same way I'm doing here. And then this system will be completely self-sufficient at that point. And then I'll come back next time and we'll work on the other pools. I need to do the gem ones next because I need those for like the high tier processors and stuff. Um. And I also need to do the redstone alloy ones. That's actually what I'll probably do next instead of the gem ones. I'll do the redstone alloy so I can start making the uh, tier 6 circuits. But for now, I will see you guys next time.